Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to simplify square roots using a factor tree. And it's actually quite simple. Okay, let's figure out how to simplify this, okay? First thing I'm going to do is create a factor tree. Uh, first, let's start with 2 times 6. And the goal of a factor tree is to get down to just prime numbers. So I circle the 2 because it is prime. Now, if I go 2 times 3, we are down to prime numbers, okay? What I like to do is rewrite all of the prime numbers under the radical sign. So I have 2 times 2 times 3. Now, a square root is merely um, what two numbers multiplied together equal this number. So they are pairs. So what I do is I look for pairs of numbers, and we have a pair of 2, so I'm going to pull them out from under the radical sign. So I have a 2. So I can cross them out, and all you have left under the sign, or let's call it a square root sign, is the 3. So I can rewrite it as 2 square root 3. So there is 12 simplified, is 2 square root 3. And I'm going to work a lot more, many more examples. So let's continue. Now let's try 124, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create a factor tree. So we have 2 times 62. Circle the 2 because, you know, it's prime. And then 2 times 31. And I'll circle both of these. And we've reached our goal of being down to prime numbers. Let's rewrite them under the sign. We have 2 times 2 times 31. Remember, we can pull out pairs. So here is the pair. Okay, cross these out, and I have 31 still under the radical sign or the square root sign, so I can rewrite it as 2 square root 31. Okay, sorry about that. My dog started barking, and um, I had to do something about that. Next, let's go with 5. Now, excuse me, with 25. I know that 25 is a perfect square, but um, you can still use the same technique. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25. They are both prime. Okay, rewrite them. Pull them out from underneath, and you're left with just 5. And I know 5 times 5 is 25. So I wanted to show a perfect square. Let's try another. Okay, let's try 72. You know the technique. We go 2 times 36 circle the 2 because it is prime. Okay, now let's try 2 times 18. We have another prime number, 2. I'll circle it. 2 times 9. Circle the 2. I may run out of room. Then we have 3 times 3. And we have accomplished our goal of being down to all prime numbers. Now let's rewrite them. Okay, we have 2... 2, 2, 3, 3. Now let's pull out pairs. So here is a pair. So we have got a 2 here, and here is another pair. So we've got a 3, and then all we have left is 2. So let me rewrite this. We have 2 times 3, square root 2. Now 2 times 3 is 6, so it is 6 square root 2. So 72 is 6 square root 2. And let's do one final one. Okay, what do we do with something like this? Well, we're going to begin with a factor tree. And you know that, well you may not know, but 5 times 25 is 125. And then 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, so now we're down to prime numbers, so... Let's rewrite it. Okay, 5 times 5 times 5, and we have 4 on the outside. Now we're going to pull out a pair, which is a 5. Okay, so now we have 5 times 4, and then we have 5 under the radical sign. So let's rewrite it. We have 5 times 4, square root 5. 5 times 4 is 20, square root 5. 
Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.